Hi, Matt Vanacoro here with my friends at Gig Performer, and I'm going to take a look at the global rack space and getting to the global rack space using the global rack space plugin. This is a great system. It's going to allow you to utilize some things on a global level for all of your different rack spaces. So I've got this mallets sound and a nice little guitar synth sound. Okay, and they're both a little dry and I'm gonna to wanna to add some effects to them, but I wanna use the same effects each time. So rather than instantiating a bunch of different instances of it, I'm gonna use the global rack space. To get there, I click on this little global rack spaces button. And there it is. So I'll go to the wiring and now I've got the global rack space available. I've got my audio coming in from the rack spaces once I set it up and I can set up a plugin here. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click and I'll drag in UBI's, uh, let's just use the rotary plugin. That's some fun one. So I've got rotary, there we go. And I'm gonna take the incoming audio from channel one and two right here. And I'll bring that to rotary and then assign that to my audio output so that we can actually hear it. Now, it's not doing anything yet, it's just, it's just hooked up, but there's nothing feeding it any audio. So I've gotta get out of the global rack space view and go into my individual rack space. So here's my, current rack space. I've got the MIDI coming in, going to contact, and then going out to where it needs to go. So let's go ahead and add in a routing to the global rack space from here. So I'll right click it, and I'll just go to global processing and hit send to global rack space, that internal plugin. And there we go, the global rack space audio sender. So I'll take the audio out of here, but wait a minute, I want to adjust the amount, because right now if I just hook it up, you're going to hear... Wow, that's nice, but it's pretty wet. I don't have any control of it. So the best way to go about it would really be to add a gain and balance control first. And once I've done that, now I've got control over how much. So think of it like a send. I'll go ahead and send it there, send it there. And now if I open that gain and balance control, I can determine how much of it is getting sent to that global rack space. There we go. A nice tiny little bit of rotary to make that sound really pop. Now it doesn't end there. Let's take a look at this second one. So on this second one, I've already got it set up to go to the global rack space. I've got this guitar synth. As you can see, I've got the gain and balance control. Let's bring it up a little. Yep. But what about setting up a second channel, a second batch? So I want to get some reverb in there too. Well, let's open up that global rack space again. And I'm going to go ahead and add in my favorite reverb plugin. So I'll go to Universal Audio, and I'm going to go ahead and add in that EMT 140, one of my favorite little plate reverbs. All right, we'll add a ton. We'll keep it nice and wet because we're sending things. And what I'll do is I'll just take audio output channel 3 and 4 from the rack space and grab it there and we'll send it to the same spot on my audio interface. So still not getting that reverb yet, pretty dry, and that's because I gotta send something to three and four with the Global Rackspace plugin. So I'll set up another gain and balance control, because I want, you know, I wanna be able to control how much of it we're getting. So we're just basically setting up another send here. I'll do that, I'll send that to Global Rackspace three and four, and I should hear pretty wet. Oh yeah, cavernous. So there we go. Completely separate control of a global reverb. And of course on the panel, if I wanted to assign those really quick, I could. So I go to edit and I'll take that first knob and I go to the plugin and I'll just pick the gain and balance one of the first one and choose the gain. And then for here, I'll go to that second gain and balance plugin and choose the gain. And now I've got front panel control. My rotary front panel control of my ambient effect. You can even use the panel view of the global rack space to make it easier to assign those controls very quickly. So let's just take a look. I got a nice little electric piano assigned here and I'm gonna go ahead and send it to my global rack space because if you look at my global rack space right here by clicking that little globe, I've got a rolling chorus pedal going on. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm here, I'll right click, I'll go to global processing and I'll send to the global rack space. So here we go, we'll send the piano there, and I should have some vibrato. Cool, but I got a lot of it, and I wanna change the vibrato rate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go out to the panel, all right, and I've got this little unassigned knob there. If I go to the global rack space, I can go ahead and add a widget. So I'll edit, all right, 
I'll grab a knob, and that widget is going to control the vibrato rate. Okay, let's find it. Rate. There we go. All right, and I'm going to give it a, a name so I remember. All right, so I've got customized caption, vibrato rate. And what I'll do is go to advanced, and I'm going to give it a global parameter assignment. We'll use parameter zero. So now, anytime I add this knob, it's going to automatically remember that that's vibrato rate as long as I use parameter zero. So I'm going back to the panels. There we go. We'll get out of global. Well, first of all, let's check to make sure it works. Yep, fast vibrato, slower vibrato. Great. So now I'll get out of the global one and I'll go to the local one. And now I'm on this particular patch. I'll go to the editor. I'll click this knob that doesn't, you know, it's not assigned to anything. And I'll go ahead and assign it to the global rack space. And if I take a look, parameter zero is already there. It's ready to give me vibrato rate control. I didn't have to set it up and map it to anything in that rack space. I just go ahead and send it. And now I've got access to it. So if I play, there it is. And this is going to be on a per patch basis. So if I go ahead and make a separate patch, you know, let's go ahead and make a new variation of it. I'll have very little speed. And then we'll get a lot of speed. So if you remember, you'll see they can be independent of each other. So I'm controlling that global parameters getting changed by this local rack space. It's really, really amazing and super convenient. So there's a lot of flexibility and a lot of really, um, if you think about it, a great way to save your DSP and save your CPU by utilizing those global rack space effects. So now you can have that same reverb going for each one of your different rack spaces and variations uh, if you want to recycle some of those effects from you know patch to patch. It's a really, really great new system and it works really well in the newest version of Gig Performer.